Hello everyone, let us explore something about edge detection. Edge detection is a very important topic and uh, in order to explore the edges, we can take help from first order derivatives. So if uh, I am using this first order derivative, this operator is actually called del operator and I will read it as del of i. It gives me the gradient of i uh, and what do I mean by gradient? Actually, whenever I have a 2D signal or a image, which is basically a two-dimensional image, then I uh, get a gradient, uh, a partial derivative along x-axis and a partial derivative along y-axis. So when I uh, have two derivatives along two different axes, then these two derivatives together are actually represented by this gradient sign. Uh, for example, if there is an object which has got these vertical edges, in that case the gradient uh, will only have this component, which is the partial derivative along x-axis. The other one will be zero because if you move a window over here, there will be no movement along y-axis. Similarly, if I have an edge like this, in this case the gradient will have component like this because I, if I move a window over here, then it will only give changes along y-axis. It will not give any changes along x-axis. This is a horizontal edge. And if I have an edge which is like a diagonal, in this case, the del operator will have these two components, i with respect to x and i with respect to y. Uh, the strength of the edge is calculated with the help of sum of these two gradients whole under the root. And the direction of edge is calculated with tangent inverse of i y and i x. Now let's solve an example to understand the concept further. So right now we have this image which has got these pixels and I want to know that whether this point here in between this uh, junction whether it's an edge or not. So if I want to find that it's an edge or not with the help of this gradient operator I will simply find this x derivative and then I will find y derivative. If I want to find this x derivative, I will do 4 minus 2, 6 minus 5 and I will sum them up and divide by 2 because I am taking 2 pixels at a time. It is coming to be 3 over 2 because this is 2, this is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3 and it is divided by 2 so it is 3 by 2. Now this del uh, of uh, i by y this component or y, y axis de derivative, it is de calculated by 4 minus 6 and 2 minus 5. So it is coming out to be minus 1 minus 3 and they add up into minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So this is my x component of the gradient and this is my y component of the gradient. If I find the magnitude of the uh, edge with the help of these two, I will simply square them up, add them and under root. So this will give me the strength of the edge which is coming out to be 2.5. Once we have find out the value uh, of that uh, magnitude of the, uh, the edge or the value that we calculated in the last step like 2.5, then if we have to decide it whether it's an edge or not, we will make this decision on the basis of hysteresis thresholding. Hysteresis thresholding says that there are two values of thresholds, one is low threshold and one is high threshold. If the calculated value, the magnitude is lower than the lower value of threshold, then that is not an edge. If the value, uh, calculated value is higher than the upper value of the threshold, then it is definitely an edge. And if the calculated value lies somewhere between the lower value and the higher value, such that this calculated value is higher than the lower threshold, but it is somehow less than the higher threshold. If I draw it like this, see, if there is a higher threshold, this is T high. And if there is a lower threshold, threshold, this is T low. And something is lying here. So we will say that it might be an edge and it might not be an edge. And the decision depends on the neighboring pixel. If the neighboring pixel is an edge, then that pixel for which you are doing the calculations will also be an edge. So in this way, with the help of uh, the gradients, we have actually uh, find out that whether some at some particular position in the image, there lies an edge or not. Uh, thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.